Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Logcast. Today we have Cristian Cabrera, Hector Romero, Cornell Montgomery, and Stephen Bueno. And we also have a special guest with us, Liz, aka Via Liz Lurker. Cool. Now, <laughs> full disclosure. Our equipment fucked up a little while ago. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. we were talking for like a full 10 minutes uh, of sweet, sweet material that no one's going to see. I know. It was lightning in a bottle, but we didn't bottle it. We just saw the lightning and let it go into the ground. <laughs> if you love something, you got to let it, you know. You do. And, and then I if love it lightning. comes back to you, you just set it free again. I think no. that's what that's what Zeus had in mind when he was like, fuck it, lightning bolt. And none of them ever came back, so he had separation anxiety. I had anxiety. an ex-girlfriend <laughs> that bullshit on me once. She was like, we're going to break up. And I was like, why? She's like, we just saw her. And then we got back together. She told me why. I'm like, you're fucking stupid. And then you broke up with her. And like, no, no, I'm going to let no, you go. No, she got me later. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you okay? No. Do you need Do you need counseling? Do you need tissue no. or edible you panties? Hug, do you need panties? Dude, no. No. No more edible shit, okay, please? <laughs> oh, nothing? So uh. we're just going to suck in the air and live off of that? All right, uh, Liz, Dude. so you... <laughs> yeah. I know what I meant, god damn it. Don Quixote lived off memories, okay? <laughs> That's what he ate for and dinner. And windmills. So the BFG, the, the giants and that, they used to eat all the kids. Cherry pretty, panties. You know, the big fucking guns? No, the <laughs> big friendly giant. Either Raw. way. Iron giant. So, Liz, Jaw. as we covered already like 15 minutes ago. Yes. Uh, you used <laughs> to be... <laughs> so, you used to have a YouTube channel? Yeah. It still does. It's, it's still there. It's just... It's asleep. It's dormant. Like a volcano y- in yeah. Mexico. You know the yes. one yellow song is really big. <laughs> Jelly is it? Yes, and it's supposed to be. It's overdue by a. Uh, let me check. It was a, a shit ton of years. <laughs> <laughs> let me check my sources. One shit ton. One, One shit. Of, uh, so what? So was a uh, Dante's Peak? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I was gonna say Tommy Lee Jones, but that's Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tommy Lee Jones was Volcano. Or yeah. well, that Volcano in LA from the movie. This, this is why we can never stay on subject. Yeah. I know, right? So, anyways, it's okay. Liz and your YouTube's. And YouTube's, yes, please. I Tell us what a happened YouTube. there. Well, at the time, I was dating a, a stupid head. Mm. That's what they call him in Spanish. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's stupid. Yes, I was dating a loser, and he <laughs> thought it was kind of stupid because he said that my personality would change. So I stopped because I thought, okay, well, I don't want to, you know, make him think I'm dumb, even though I like being bubbly on camera. I guess it brings out the weirdness in me and I'm random. But so I stopped and then I got a job because I was living off of nothing. Uh, and then now I'm here. You, li- you were living off the happiness he wasn't giving you. And well, that I was just... actually on unemployment. You can milk that. Oh, yes. Yeah, you you <laughs> can I've milk never done that. It but you shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I mean, I was being productive, though. I was in school, so that that helped me out. I was in school, and I didn't even finish school. I'm sorry. Well, what did uh, you go to school for? Uh, entertainment business. So you got to be a manager? Well, I figured if I want to own my own production company, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get an idea of how to run a business properly. But then, uh, well, I had to stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, then things happen. I'm not well, saying this is my what job. you did, what? but I'm just saying entertainment business sounds like something a hooker would study. Well, that's why I or stopped. Or a stripper. <laughs> Because I'm were, not a hooker. <laughs> you were running into too many of those. You were like, I'm going to go to this convention. And it was just like, this is the AVN Awards. Central I don't... Dancing 101. That's the yeah. Why is there a hole in the middle of the classroom? They told me I had great potential. I'm not coming back, by the way. I'm just... You know what? Nah, fuck this. I got a free laptop out of it, okay? Oh, well, uh, that's good. So it's, it's you mean lap dance. They're called lap dances <laughs> oh. around here. And the buffet was amazing, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The free sandwiches at noon? <laughs> by the way. Okay. No. I'm just going to ask you guys this. Who would actually eat lunch at a strip club? No. Nope. My hands are dirty no. already. So if you dare me, I probably would do it. <laughs> All right, Christian. Really? Next video is going to be at you're a You're going to go to club. Cheetah's. You're going to go to Cheetah's. And then okay, you're going cool. to gonna watch Peaches. She's actually really good. Okay. Peaches. She's a freaking stripper. I, know, we said, I used to have a co-worker's mom works at Cheetah's. So. What? Oh, tell what? me if her name is Peaches, I'd like to meet her. I don't know her name. That's the only thing I don't remember. We don't say his name either, but tell us more. <laughs> like, how did how did you find this out? Well, I was crying one day. Okay, so one of our coworkers. Wait, wait, went, wait, wait, wait. Let's clarify. Worked at or worked in? Oh. No, her mom works at Cheetahs. Like she was one of the entertainers. She was Crescent. one of the entertainers. Okay. Wow. Exactly. Wait, wait, wait. First or second job? First. <laughs> exactly. But this was like years ago. I know who you're talking about. Did, did, did some dude boink her in the bathroom? 
Oh. Regardless. She got boinked. You so thought about it. How did she you find boinked. out? She got fat. You thought it. about it. No, not that one. Oh, okay, never mind. How did you find out that the mom worked at Cheetos? She told us. Oh, oh. she was just like straight up with it. Yeah. By the way. How did she tell you that's the Did you guys want to no, see my mom it, naked? It, no. <laughs> While she was working or no, she was, after her shit? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, she told us when I, when we were in the break room, we were all just relaxing. And I was like, oh, my mom, my mom actually, she's trying to get me into to go to her job. It's like, oh, cool. What? What? Like, what does your mom do? It's like, oh, she's a stripper. Like, wait, what? <laughs> okay, Mom's trying to do what? No? Actually, become Bring a stripper. Bring your child to work day? No. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, well, it, it's two for one. Freaking, <laughs> it's two for one during that time. I want a mom and a daughter special. Uh, yeah. Her, mom, no, her no. mom was one of the, uh, one of the strippers the there. Oh, okay. was one of the, no, she was one of the strippers there. And she actually was going to like fitness schools and all that stuff for to become a stripper during that time as well. But she didn't want to do it. She's like, no, I just like to exercise, do it that way. Because it's really intense workouts. That's what she says. You know I'll what? Look. They do have certified pole classes mm. in L.A. I've seen them. I've never been to one. But they have. I, I fully support that. those schools <laughs> to any capacity. I will there, are the certain, money. <laughs> there are certain modern movements that I support. Like the Free the Nipple campaign. I am in full support of that. <laughs> I, see some, I saw something like that in L.A. A couple was, weeks ago. There's there also was, like no bra month, too. Was there homeless? No I support day. that, there too. There was a bunch of women... With science, something about nipple. Yeah, it's probably free the nipple. And then they were walking, and then my son's like, "What are they doing?" I was like, "Don't, don't look." They lost their clothes. They're trying to go find <laughs> a store. They got I robbed. <laughs> they got, they got robbed. robbed of the dignity. Yes. And now they're gonna. Uh, it's like Tiffany, I told you, you shouldn't wear that Chanel dress. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the dress, baby. <laughs> I don't know why she turned into like an old black woman, but. <laughs> That's well, just how it works. You've been working for your masters for like, <laughs> for like six years. I've been working for mine for 60. <laughs> uh, Chanel. Yay. Yay. I think we... Okay, wait, 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 wait. What are we... <laughs> so, so, what we had asked before... What the fuck are you doing, Dawson? Um, before our other feed cut out, mm. uh, you're reviving your channel. Yeah. Uh, would you like to, to plug your channel? Plug me. Mm, plug, it plug it in. Plug it in. Plug, those are really good. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to, I have things, like I get random ideas at work. I'm like, oh, I could talk about this because a lot of the things I want to talk about are stuff that I used, like just random things that came in my head and it's stupid, but I think it's funny now. Mm-hmm. Like just my thought process. Hindsight 2020 kind of thing. You're mature now. You, you, get, you get things better. Yeah, like. <laughs> Yeah, like uh, one of the things why well, I already talked about this was how um, when somebody would tell me their email address and it, if there was an underscore, they would say, oh, it's John underscore. I would literally type in underscore. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, because my mind thinks literally. So that's the kind of thing like I would just randomly, you know, pop an idea in my head. I'm like, oh, I should probably talk about that. But then I, so I have stuff written in my phone still. I just have to record. Revive it. And talk. Do it. So it would be, uh, how would we be able to find you? If you were looking for you on the YouTubes, how would we be able to find you? On the YouTube, you mm-hmm. would type in Via's, no, Via Liz Lurker, no, no, is that? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's another thing. Okay. I used to have, oh, okay, I'm trying to tell you how to find my channel. Well, it's, <laughs> it's YouTube. You're failing. It, I know. <laughs> See, this is, but this is why I record myself. Go people, north. People for then... some reason like it. I don't know. Wait. Um, uh, it's youtube.com slash the only lurker only because I'm an idiot. And when I was trying to log in, I was, I was like, oh, I, I, let me just make a YouTube account. And then I typed in via Liz lurker and it said taken. I was like, motherfucker, somebody has my fucking AKA. I was pissed off. So I made another one, which is the only lurker with two R's. Well, it's probably better that you have that as opposed to whoever. Could I know. But that. the thing is when I actually, I set up the, the new account the only lurker and then i was like I'm, i want to go see who else has that because i'm gonna i'm gonna email them because that's my fucking name like who has that and then i found the other link it my picture pops up i'm an idiot it was me <laughs> <laughs> i just forgot my i forgot that i had one so i was like dude and th- there's no way of trying to get that account you didn't back email yourself I, and see uh, no, what the password was no. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit so i can't email. Oh, i can't remember it to save my life the password so. is password Son of the password <laughs> Password one two three. The, the password yeah. is flaming. years later. Capital P yeah. password. That's why. The password is that sucks. flaming. It does. I know. You got to go through your AKAs, AKA. Yeah. No, but man. it's okay. It's okay. It's almost like having split personality and wonder what the other one did. Like fuck me. <laughs> exactly. I passed out. I woke up. I started a fight club and a YouTube account. 
And I just don't remember what the YouTube account well, it's is. It's like when I say when I'm... And I started a book club. Especially when I, when I drink. And the book club. And I get lazy when I get home. And I'm like, I'm going to do this. But I'll do it in the morning. And I always say there's a nighttime Cornell and a daytime Cornell. And nighttime Cornell doesn't give a fuck. And in the morning, daytime Cornell is always pissed at what nighttime Cornell did. It's like mo- multiple times I drop my keys like behind my desk. And I'm like, ah, fuck it. I'll get it later. And in the morning, I'm like, where the fuck are my keys? And I'm like, oh, asshole. It was you. Damn it you, Danny Glover. It was you. It was you. Damn you, Danny yeah. Glover. Damn. Yeah. That is, uh, that, that is an issue that I also have in that a lot of the stuff, I'm the one that uploads it and has to edit some of it. So a lot of the times I'm like... Fucking toot your own horn here. I'm going to... Well, no, I'm not tooting my horn. This is like what I do. It's like, I'm just going to do it later. I'm break. Or I'm just going to do it tomorrow morning because I'll have time. And then it's like, I just want to sleep more because I went to sleep really late debating on whether or not I should upload it. And or play The Witcher for a while. And or play The Witcher. Play video games. Look, man, I really want to play my video games. (laughs) My multiple personalities are are work because none of them care. (laughs) (laughs) You got this one? Nah, fuck it. Let, let, let Let it ride, let it ride, let it ride. Uh-huh. You guys, god damn. And this is why I'm not a Gemini. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly why I am Gemini, a Gemini. you're gonna die. But no, yeah, definitely uh, next day Steven is a lot more pissed off because first day Steven, or Steven 1, Steven is uh, very lazy. <laughs> it's like this, man. <laughs> Until I finally have to do it. Like, I have no choice. If you stay in your own filth, it's gonna be filthy regardless, man. <laughs> That's why I don't like taking baths. <laughs> <laughs> That makes perfect that is, sense. That's actually that's true. It's like, all right, let me just wash myself off in Damn. the bathtub and lay in it for an hour. No, really, like, I, don't, I don't like Most to take bath baths urine. because you're, you're sitting in your stuff. Not saying that my stuff is nasty, but I don't want to sit in me. On your own stool. Because like eventually you sit in your own broth and yeah. like, yeah. oh, this is... Mm. Yeah. And all the stuff you thought you got out your butt, correct? Well, that's why... Like, yeah. <laughs> it's on your chin now. That's why <laughs> that's when you're done, just drain it and turn the shower on. So, yeah. so then so what's the point of the shower or the, the, the bath? Yeah. The point is to waste water, okay? Dude? I know, right? Cal- see, back in, not in the well, see, back in the day, you can do that. And not nowadays, anymore. everyone's like, oh, we have no water. It's like, well, you can stop fucking taking baths. See, here's the thing. You I always thought that baths were just like an extra step. Don't get me wrong. It was relaxing and it was nice. But it's still like it's an extra step where I'm wasting more water because I sit in it. And it would never cross my mind like, oh, I'm clean. Let me get out. I would always be like, okay, now I'm going to start my shower. <laughs> What the fuck? Do you Did read you guys... your book and, and like have your cheese and wine right there? With the <laughs> no, I but I like... set up the candles every time. Did you really? Yeah, yeah, Fifty Shades of Grey wasn't out yet, but he was totally reading those uh, those books oh, with Fabio no. on the cover. Fabio on the cover. <laughs> it's like ooh, Carson, this caviar. This, this caviar is a little salty. And then Fabio hit her from the back, and it was never the same. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? She got worn out. Woo! Fabio tore that up. Woo! And then a pigeon flew. Do you? St- are you still obsessed with uh, Jeff, Jeff Sparrow? <laughs> that's a yes that's your ninja let's write that oh, down oh gosh you know I, no, I, I I planned on it for a while to change my last name to Sparrow <laughs> but my dad was like not until you pay your own bills <laughs> and, but now that I pay my own bills I had told oh. my boyfriend um, that I was like I, I want to you know change my last name to Sparrow well at least hyphenate it so that I can say dude my last name is Sparrow and show it on my ID card but then he told me if you want Sparrow, my last Robin name Sparrow Robin Swallow whoa all birds. All birds. Swallows. All birds. Yeah. Let's not. Because we'll follow. Well, not. You don't put the S. You just swallow. Like, okay. yeah. <laughs> like the bird. Yeah. Like zip. Not like someone that's dirty. Wait, so, so if you guys get married, he's like, if you want my last name. Well, he said, you can get Sparrow, but if you want my last name, don't Sparrow yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fine way of putting it. Hey, don't. So I'm like, don't you dare. Damn. That's a good. That's a good way of saying maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Wedding bells. The chances are there. The chances. Ring, you hear her. Ring a ding ding. Damn it. <laughs> Barrow. Ding Sparrow. dong. Ring Arrow. ding dong. Here's something I've been thinking about for a while. Because Man. my sister pissed me off Man. when I was, uh, when I thought about it. No, no, no I mean, well, maybe. Um, that's for another podcast, okay? This the one? After Hours podcast about unfulfilled oh, desires. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Was like, Jesus podcast. Christ! It's a <laughs> closet podcast. It's, 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 uh... <laughs> it's the one that you don't see that often because we keep it in there. Well, you and it's M&M. for later. Hey, you and Eminem, that's something in common, man. You guys got to clean out your closets. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But, um, so I was talking to my sister once, and uh, I oh, went to the fridge, uh, poured myself some milk, and then I went to the cabinet to get the uh, chocolate powder, and I was like, chocolate I'm going to make myself some chocolate milk. Yeah, you know, fucking chocolate powder. Chocolate milk. Yeah, you know? Okay. So I was going to make myself some, and then she's like, uh, oh, I was like, oh, yeah, we're running out of that. We buy it mainly for the kids, and I guess some adults. And she looked at me 
Like, like I was a piece of shit or I was fucking mentally retarded <laughs> because I like chocolate milk. I'm like, your fat ass did not get that way from not drinking chocolate milk. I don't know what the fuck you're getting at. You're going to tell me right now that you don't like chocolate milk? Of course, I didn't tell her this because I wanted to just drink my chocolate milk and fuck off. But then it got me thinking, those things that you do that people perceive as like age-gated actions that for some reason are like weird if you do them, mm. but even though they're amazing, like think of um, applesauce is something I think oh. about every once in a while. Applesauce is great, but then... If you just go to the supermarket and buy Gerber, people look at you funny. Like, like Gerber isn't delicious. You say you have a kid. You realize they have tubs of it, man. I don't, don't, I don't know why you're getting Apple Gerber. Well, look, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying things don't stop being delicious because you turn a certain age. Like, yeah. I like chocolate milk, and I feel like if I wanted chocolate milk as a fucking 26-year-old, I should be able to fucking have it without the stigma. You who? Yeah. I, well, why, why should I buy you who when I can make chocolate milk in my house? It's considerably less... Less expensive, and I can make a shit ton more. True. I don't know. True. You put a you pitcher can, and take the pitcher it. home and drink it. <laughs> now, that's what I wanted to ask you guys. Yes. Do you guys think that at a certain age you should stop drinking chocolate milk? No. no. I, I don't like chocolate milk. I always milk, have so yes. chocolate. Well, so to begin with. I always have chocolate or sweets. I have pie in my car right now. You have chocolate, have chocolate on, on your, your medication. Well, chocolate or sweets. I, I do have pie in my car, though. I have, I have, I have pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Yeah, I have two <laughs> pumpkin pies. Just in your car? Yeah. Let's break into a car. Lunch. No wonder she. No, I just. I like chocolate and sweets. Is all, that why all your, the time. your favorite emotional place is your car? So you always eat. Well, no. I, <laughs> I, I love race. I love me. You win this one, life. You win <laughs> this one. Me. I just love sweets. It's good for your soul and you, for your vagina. And I tell girls this all get, the time. It's yeah, good you for and, you. you and okay, the vagina part. I don't get that. Well, because if you're on your period, oh, okay. I think it just it doesn't count. Like guys are always like, ah, you don't need chocolate. Well, I'm on my period yes i do and the brain does crave sugar because sugar be cool yo <laughs> <laughs> that is that, that definitely I medical like journal yeah. sugar be cool yo mm -hmm. it's on web MD. oh yeah it's yeah, all cool it's new album guys <laughs> yeah, check it out. Check it out. i know i haven't made nothing in about 10 years you guys but sugar be cool yo is coming out next spring <laughs> it's him the sugar Got hill gang ah. sugar be cool yo no, but have you ever guys have you guys ever thought of something that people like look at you like you're you're mentally retarded just because you're fucking eating it? Yeah. Not just like, eating food. I watch Arthur, all right? Yeah. And I watch that shit like almost daily. And yeah, I know that last that's DW. That's basically age gated. That one? Mm -hmm. I grew up watching yeah. it, so why can't I watch it now? It's like, well, I mean, that's true. I still, it's a, it's I still watch thing. Disney Channel. Is that still your only channel you watch? Yeah, but late, okay, wait, wait. late at night know, because that's so Raven is on. They put it back on? Yeah. Oh, shit. And Lizzie McGuire? Fill the future. Ooh. Wait, the oh, they're trying to do what the Should slut did? Should it's like... <laughs> Shut <Yeah>. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we all went to school together. I don't know if you knew her prior yeah. to... Yeah, I think so. I think okay. So we, we know that Liz had an unhealthy obsession with Disney back in the day. Oh, yeah. And I guess she still kind of has that, which is I good. I mean, it's not do. healthy, honestly. It's like you're consuming something that's uh, wholehearted. You're not watching the hoes after the fact. You watch them when they were still good. Miley Cyrus wasn't on balls, and uh, <laughs> there wasn't any nude pictures coming up from Vanessa Hudgens. So, which, by the way, who didn't Google that? I had. Oh to. fuck! I oh, saved. I, think I saved did. it. I feel like it's something Twice. you didn't have to Google. It just Twice. came to you. Like you turn on your computer one day and like, oh, there's Vanessa Hudgens because everyone wants to stop talking about it. Yeah. Oh, look, there she is again, Mom. <laughs> Remember that show I used to watch? Well, now here's this bitch taking it. Like it's fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like when the fappening happened. Who the fuck didn't look at Who? Mm -hmm. The fappening. You know about the fappening? Right. It's when all the... Uh, Sounds like a flappy no, vagina. No, it's, it's all the... Uh, Indian rope burns and the It's penis. all the pictures of the celebrities with their nudes from their phones because they all got hacked and they got oh, put all Oh, like online. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. She was, yeah. she was the main one in that one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like, and Kate Hudson. I mean, shit. Who did <laughs> it? Who did it? Hudson. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I... I, I meant Kate Upton, but Kate Hudson came up. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to look at it. The, the, the price of tissues went up by a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Kleenex was raking it in, dude. And Jergens. And Jergens. Nah. Like, a lot of people dry elbows. What the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cold epidemic and dry elbows is weird. It's weird oh summertime. Baby, 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 go, baby, start getting some of these. People are buying it from the pallets, man. <laughs> It's like Black Friday all over again. Oh, dear God. It's, uh, it's Y2K all over again. Delicious. <laughs> Y2K. I was at Disneyland during that shit. I don't even remember. And everybody was all afraid and shit. They're like, oh, well, the rats are going to break down. I'm like, I'm like eight. <laughs> I was 11. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know let why. me do the math here. I was 11. And I didn't give a shit. I was like, okay, the world ends. So it's not the was, happiest place on earth, right? I was sitting at home watching TV. 
I could give two shits. Although every show had Thanks, a special okay. of like Y2K. So every show had their own version of it. Oh, it was like the 2012 shit. It's like everybody was like, oh my God, is it going to happen? It's like that shit would have happened like 90 years ago if that was the case. You ever heard about leap years? <laughs> like you think the Mayans thought about some American was going to be like, you know what? We're going to add another day. Don't do it. It's going to mess everything up. But every Dude. four years. Every- yeah, stop. Four mm-hmm. years. My girlfriend's sister's birthday is on the 29th of February. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I go back for it. She, uh, she gets a birthday every time the Olympics comes. From around. what I remember, <laughs> from uh, astronomy was the fact. Yeah, it was like the fact that our calendar was. It doesn't really align with the amount of time in an actual year. You took astronomy. Mm-hmm. Oh, and uh, it doesn't really align with the amount of time that that uh, an actual year takes up. Oh. So in order to make up that difference, we have to have an extra day every four years. Was it a Gregorian calendar, keep, keep something like that? Why don't they just give us quarter quarter days like every year? Or just give us quarters every year. I'm I'm cool with that. I'm down for quarter. Hey, people need to do laundry, man. I know, right? That's true. <laughs> Drying the clothes is the most expensive part. This shit's never work. Mm-hmm. That is a bitch. Mm-hmm. I have my own, but I, I heard. I mean, yeah. I mean, Maybe for I peasants, they'd have to do their, their laundry and laundromats. Oh, for, for the, for H, we wouldn't understand. And Christian, too. I guess just corner. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is between you and him. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who, what did, who did I do? does their laundry at a laundromat? Me. He does. Really? Why? <laughs> she's looking at wow, you. Wow, dude! <laughs> like yeah, she's gonna she start. Know your pool. She's I gonna start. You. Up. She's so gonna start a Kickstarter. Get caught up. 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 I'm just kidding. I'll talk to you guys later. Look at this guy. <laughs> Damn! Look at that. She I'm comes just in. Out. I'm poor, you guys. We invited her. She's freaking telling us her. Do you rub my lamp? Did you bring me here? I'm. Well, no. They're Thank gonna put a washer and dryer in my apartment next. January, I believe. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, so I'll be part of you cool people. Yeah, because my maid does yeah. it. She, we give her the you got a well, maid. Anytime you ever want to make... <laughs> hey, anytime I'll call make, her mom, but you know, she's a maid. Anytime you ever want to make <laughs> breakfast, man, and wash your clothes at the same time, there you go. It's right there. You just put it in the heater? Yeah. So uh, the laundry is like dryer. the most productive. I've seen that a lot in Europe. Like, where they have, like, everything... You just put like your under... Kitchen? You just grab your underpants and you just put it into the... underpants. Into the oven, man. Under good. Question, do you do... Like, when you're doing laundry, do you... Do you, do you stand naked? Because what, what about fuck? the clothes that you're wearing? That's dirty. It's called laundry clothes. No, you wear, put on your clean clothes. No, I just wear whatever oh. I just. Woke up I don't do that. I just I I always think in. about it when I'm doing laundry. I'm like, should I take this off and wash it? <laughs> look, look, Liz, this is one of those few times where I can be frumpy anytime I want to. <laughs> oh, I just put it this way: if I did that, that'd be weird at the laundromat. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, uh, sir. Like, <laughs> if nobody was there and you knew that nobody was there, or you had to wash it, like, do you so, wash the clothes? Well, look, if I lived alone and and I had my own wash and dryer, yes, I would fucking do it. Okay. Because, I mean, you know, might as well take a shower while you're doing it, you know. Exactly. No, yeah. here's also. I have no towels because they're in the dryer, but, you know. <laughs> here's also where the double standard kicks in and we get fucked over. If a guy goes into a laundry man and decides to take off all his clothes and just to do all laundry at once, people are going to, like, register him as a sex offender. If a female does it, they're like, oh, she's just off a rocker right now. She's going to come back to later That's and she true. just needs counseling and she needs she to be just counseling. You see a bunch of this, too, when she does that. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay, look. I, I had this this thought because because I drive for a living and I, I'm by myself a lot and, and I'm and I'm depressed. Um, <laughs> so I saw this lady walking around. She was in a very sheer shirt uh, sure. and she had very hard nips. And like, I, like wait, her nipples were very hard mm-hmm. and her shirt was very sheer. Hard or high? Hard. All right, like the boobs okay. are here, but the nipples. Durant. are wrong. <laughs> and, and I was like, <laughs> you know, a girl can walk around with hard nips and it's all right, and like in a sheer shirt. But a guy walks around in sweatpants and no undies, and he's got a boner, boner. and it's an issue, right? Mm-hmm. Or not even a boner, dude. If you like, if you can see the out, like if you wear pants tight enough to see the outline of your dick, you, people you look see, at you like, you see if it's just don't. flopping, if it's just like flopping back and forth on the sweatpants, someone's gonna be like, oh god, he's got to be a, a sex offender. Or you can do what one of my friends does and just point it out. I was like, oh my god, this has got a boner. <laughs> hey, <have> everybody look. <laughs> What's oh. sad? No, it's funny because he gets put on blast. He's gonna go walk home, put some underpants on. Like, like how re- often does that happen real- for someone to do it though? Too many times. I, guess. I don't know. Are you, are you ashamed of yourself? No, I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm like, you guys are assholes. Then, then you're gonna keep those sweatpants on. Now, if you have shame, then you're like, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Sometimes going commando is alright, but not all the time. Like, times- I do it all the time. You guys just don't notice. Oh. 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 Solidarity, Thank brother. Solidarity. <laughs> no, no. Right. This is the. Uh, this is the cuddle um, law cast today. <laughs> <laughs> well, the cuddle cast. Sorry. Cuddle cast. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So that's, that's, my, that's, name is, uh, my name is Dark Man. Hey, you want to cut on? We have a we have a good uh, a good, good hour for you guys today. <laughs> this the, no, the, 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 grunting. the fact grunting. that you're making sounds is like mm, yeah. The fact that you're getting sweaty and start <laughs> and start going. 
That, that's not. That's better watch out. You <laughs> might have a hot flash again. That's crazy. What me? So you, better, you might have a hot flash again. Just watch out. All right. Um. So here's something I wanted to bring up too, because I thought it was really fucking weird. Correct. So I was at uh, <laughs> the fact that it happens. How, did it, how does that shit work? I mean, it just happens. Sometimes it does, but mainly when you want it, it doesn't. Like, when you get older, <laughs> it gets crappier. Though. So how do, how do how do guys plan sex then? They're like, oh, I'll meet you at three forty two. We talk about You don't need to plan years? sex, girl. It just happens. It Look, happens. when you're at a certain oh, wait, age, look. you don't have to plan anything. No, no, the no. older you get, and Jesus Christ, I know I'm gonna get there someday. It's like you you kind of have to plan it because it won't work. And that's what I'm. That's what Seattle's. I'm looking forward to, the fact that one day it, I'm gonna be like however old I am, and it's just not gonna work. Like I'm gonna be like in the middle of it and and just look at him like, yeah, you know this this is supposed to happen, but <laughs> I just, for your record, I know you give me that sloppy right now, but uh, four or more hours you need to consult your doctor, <laughs> please. But what if it doesn't happen for four or more hours? Like you're just not erect and you took two pills. What if you took breaks <laughs> in between? Like then you're gonna have a heart attack. Oh wait, 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 I got a question for you guys. What's up? What's the like at our age now? Mm-hmm. I'll get back to what I, I was saying. Second, what's the <laughs> oldest that lady you would like, or, or or man you you would get with? Who, oh. Wait, why is it? I hey, you never know. Forties. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay, I don't like you it. never <laughs> know. You got to be open. Uh, mm-hmm. You got to be open. You so got to be open. Look, look, man, banging like, a cougar is fun. <laughs> banging a cougar. <laughs> I said banging. I said banging. All right. No, 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 no. But no, a like, saber tooth like, tiger. Like, <laughs> if, like an older lady would come up to you. She's not the best looking lady. Yeah. She's like in her 50s. She just got divorced. She's a little bit heavy set, but not big. But she's, like, she's got some, some roles places, but she's like, look. She, haven't I mentioned, I want to smash. Haven't marriage. I mentioned a similar story to this one time? Yeah, we were there. But No, um, not that one. Always engaged. Not that one. I met the one where I go to a casino, you know, I meet like, I'll, I'll take the shuttle over there, sit around, probably talk to somebody there. Meet like an older lady, probably like 45, Filipino, 46 years old. Likely Asian, you know her. Likely, <laughs> likely. <laughs> gonna be. Her. Uh, gonna she be. Said her. Lightly Asian. Gonna be. No, she's, lightly. Because they're the freaky she, ones. Her, her husband's on deployment, you know. Like, oh, I'll, I'll play, I'll, no, hey, hold on, goddamn. Stop you're, judging me. They're jumping to conclusions like this, goddamn. Well, you just said husband. He's working no, no, for no, doctors no, no. on borders, not the let, military. Let, let it finish yeah, the story. Let, let it finish the story. We'll be, we'll be playing like a, they should be playing like a card game. I'm like, oh hey, I'll sit down, play a card game, like find out that we're winning. Me and her are winning. She's like, hey, you know what? You're a good luck charm. Follow me. We're gonna go play some more games like we'll play some craps and she starts keep winning more money you've then, thought about this a lot haven't you have. <laughs> haven't you heard my Miley Cyrus one too he's getting really oh. sweaty over this you guys my Miley Cyrus stop my Miley Cyrus and then tell him about you're the determined so anyway yeah uh-huh. <laughs> no so anyways like, she'll probably win like maybe about a thousand maybe twelve hundred dollars and then she hands me like five hundred bucks like hey since you helped me win this here's your cut I was like oh thank you sweet boom hug gone never see her again Oh, okay, so I no. thought at one point she was like, oh, shawty. No, no he's going to go home Let's and masturbate a bottle. No, I don't want to take off her dentures. I don't want a gummy from oh. her, okay? I don't want a gummy from her. Get gum down. Ribbed for your pleasure, man. Oh, oh I'm not talking about it. feel like a vagina. <laughs> See, I like the fact that it turns With the Bill Cosby face? Extremely well, sexual. Well, because that's what we were talking about. No, I wasn't talking about that. Oh, you're just talking about meeting an Asian lady and getting lucky with money, right? Exactly, okay. pretty much. <laughs> because one, she just needs a companion just to hang out. And then she'll just pay me for it. It doesn't, doesn't have to be so anything platonic. sexual. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's okay. That's what I meant. Yeah. But would you bang her, though? She was no, no, I know. I bang her. <laughs> for she just won $1,200, man. Like, I'm happy. It depends if... Maybe. If she's got them on. Is she like a frog? Is she Christian. Okay, her? Christian. Maybe. If none of us would judge you. Yeah. None of us would judge me, I would say yes. <laughs> <laughs> but because you guys are that's assholes. But since, you, yeah, since everyone here has that face, it's like, mm, this guy's a fucking dirty motherfucker. No, man. They because everybody it. in this fucking table would have... Everybody would have <laughs> done it. <laughs> everybody would have done it. Everybody would have done it. So. Okay, so then my... Hey, look, my we had a good night together. I feel a little chemistry. You making money, I made some money. Come on, let's fight. So then, so then my Miley Cyrus one, this one's actually pretty good. Because this is, this, is before, she this is before she was going insane. This is when uh, I was thinking about it. when she turns eighteen, you know, meet her like at a like an adventure show, <laughs> get to hang out with her, blah blah blah. Probably end up dating her, somehow get her pregnant. Somehow, yes, yeah, somehow. Just, just slip some sperm into her drink. That's what you do. <laughs> like I said, like I said, <laughs> somehow get her. I don't know. It could. I don't know how it could happen. That's what I'm just saying. Christian get hasn't her, learned that yet. Know, right? Get her pregnant. You know, yeah, have, yeah. have a child with her, and then sooner with throughout the line, get her addicted to drugs. Okay, so she'll be <laughs> so she'll be considered an unfit mother. I think she's and gonna then she I end up taking custody of the I child. I she's there. I, I know. This is all before, before she did that. Oh, this is okay. before. I'm saying as soon as like she turned 18. So, so Chris is mad because someone's just doing exactly. it right now. Someone, yeah, well, she did it to herself. <laughs> you, <laughs> so you, think, you know the end. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done it. 
See, Christian, like people over here thinking like Christian's a piece of shit for thinking about it. But he's basically just taking the Kevin Featherline approach. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. And then I'll get my own TV show, you know. And we're like, oh, hey. Everybody hates Chris. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like that's already been done, though. (laughs) But it's it's the reality. Yeah, but but wants to be with a K, though, not with a CH. I know, right? It's all different show. Is where Christian just takes care of celebrity children? (laughs) 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 I do it because nobody else will. You see, I've thought I those, love you. I've thought those plans Northwest. out throughout the amount of time, but it's never happened yet. So. All right, sidebar: Who's yes. seen those pictures of that one Christ. little Kardashian baby getting hit by the fucking car, car no, door? The, the Kardashian toddler getting hit by the car door. I love no. so hard. Thank you, Amir. Uh, never seen it. Oh my god, it's the funniest thing. Which, I've which seen. one? One of them. I don't fucking know. Like, like son. Some. I look. The less I know, the better it is for me. The oldest sister. That's Courtney. Courtney. The one that looks the like oldest has your shortest, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like her the little one that kid. Looks like a mom. She looks like the mom. Oh, it's like um, it's like the little kid. You haven't seen these pictures? No. They've fucking been everywhere this week. Uh, it's just a little kid with a rolling backpack, and I guess the door hits oh. her, and the face she makes is fucking priceless. Did you have a rolling backpack? Did anyone here have a rolling backpack? Yeah. I did. I did in God seventh grade. Not that much money, man. Jesus. No, Christ. yeah, <laughs> seventh grade. One of her friends had a rolling backpack and we always kick it when he went by and he started getting a, a, just a, a binder and we started smacking the binder off his arm so he just gave up and just started bringing the backpack. <laughs> oh. We're assholes. You know, remember Tina? Yeah. Hold on, wait, I don't know if she listened to this because like she, she's a friend. Yeah, she also oh. is. She also likes. I'll the, tell you some stuff, stuff later. Yeah. Well, no, I'm just saying I remember Tina, and I, I feel bad because I, I don't know if I was a part of it. I can't remember that far. You were a bully. Of... That bitch. You were a bully. I was a bully, but I was bullied, too. <laughs> I was, who? Um, Are the other part of the A group kids? of guys. That's what you get for being different. It was, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're talking about fucking... Yeah, we can, we can say his name. Kiki's crew? Mm, that was Gabriel because I had a crush on him. So, yeah. Kiki's yeah, crew. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Kiki's yeah. crew. Okay. I hated them. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool one now. Yeah, they said I looked like a boy. You did? Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I was new there. I didn't know anybody. Hey, uh, boys are cute if you're gay. So it's uh, fine. <laughs> if you're gay, that, that's... Yes. What was that, H? What was that? If you're gay, bitch. I didn't say I was. Fuck up, dude. I was you don't even know, know dude. Tina, do I, know I don't me, know bro? if I was a part of it or if I just saw it and just didn't say anything, but there was a there was a pad with fake blood <gasps> put in her that. backpack. Oh. And I feel bad about it. Still, I don't know if I was part of it though. So if I was, I'm sorry, and I'm stupid. But we, I don't. I don't really remember. I just remember seeing it. I don't remember that at all. I remember. So. I remember the well, issue. it was in Miss. I've heard Gosh, about what it. What was her name? What, what was her name? Crabtree. Crabtree. No. Yes, yeah, Crabtree's so. Miss Fizz. Miss Fizz. Yeah, it was Miss Frizzle. Frizzle. <laughs> I remember trying to uh, me and Steven and, and a couple other people tried to put a, a mouse in your backpack. In the oh my? my god, I forgot about yeah. that. My backpack. We got caught by uh, yeah. Ms. Why? Roberts. I don't oh. remember. I don't remember why. But I think we, yours was just there. Oh. Yeah, I think yeah. yours was the closest one next to us. So we're like, hey man, it'd be funny if we just got a fucking hamster. Or not a hamster, was it, but like uh, a little mouse and put it in her backpack. <laughs> we have the mouse on us. Except we got caught right when we were about to do it. There were. Uh, the teacher yeah. was like, hey, what are you doing? Nothing. We're not doing anything <laughs> suspicious at all. I'm looking at us. <laughs> wow. What are you doing over there? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, tons of fun. We were assholes. Somebody threw my backpack in a tree. <laughs> you, you, you. Yeah. Were assholes, when we got off the bus, now. they threw my backpack up a tree, and then I couldn't get it. Were you just bullied? What? She yeah, just I was, she bullied was bullied a lot. All the time? Um, Why? Just the she was just walking to the room to get bullied. And like. Partially the eighth grade, and then the ninth grade, and then it stopped. And, oh, like, and then the tenth, and then eleven. And then it stopped. And then, graduated, and then people and just said stopped. I was weird. I was like, I don't, whatever. You know what the weirdest thing is, and, and one of the things we talk about a lot is that in in the way we grew up, it was sort of like, it was never the stereotypical, oh, she's getting bullied and she's weird, so she's going to be outcast. Some people might have been. But for us, it was like, in one way or another, we all got... We were all kind of looked at like we were a little weird, but we were still accepted in the greater group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was still a sense of community. It was like, yeah, yeah we're picking on them a lot, but we're still going to like invite them to shit and like hang out with them. We're just going to fuck with them from time to time. Well, we were well thank nerds. you. But not viciously. <laughs> never vicious. Well, maybe Christian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We never Christian. vicious, Christian, the reason... but put a hamster in my backpack. Thank no, no, you. No, no, no. It was a mouse. Was a, right. a, um, a mouse? Christian... <laughs> well, that makes it a whole lot the better. The first time I met Christian, <laughs> Stephen punched him. Oh yeah, I when we were kids, I did not get along too yeah. well with Christian. Nope. So I think when uh, At all. when I, when he gave you the gogurt, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fast forward a little bit past that, and 
I was hanging out with Cornell for some reason. I guess we just started hanging out. And, um, <laughs> for some reason. I, don't know. Yeah. I can't remember why. I need a black guy in my group. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, we can hang out. I didn't have a crew back then. Um, Do you have a crew now? Oh, yeah. A little bit, yeah, okay. I guess. Yeah. I like these guys. Please, please, no, guys. No. It gets bigger. <laughs> West Side. It gets bigger from time to time. <laughs> it does. Um, no. Yeah, our, group, our group's basically a, a, it's a grower, not a shower. Um, <laughs> so, like I was saying, we were both Cornell and I were hanging out, and then I was like, "Oh, let's go towards the basketball courts and like run. Well, we're gonna see some people we know." And uh, I remember seeing Christian. I don't remember what he said to me, but it pissed me off, so I punched him in the face. And Cornell was like, oh, "I guess that guy's a piece of shit." Right <laughs> yeah, right here in the mouth. I remember that. I never heard of this. I had a fat lip for like a couple of hours. I had a fat lip for a few hours. The first time I met you, you punched me, but I wasn't on a van. You said, hey, how's it going? Arm. Ow. Okay. And it was like, arm, arm. Every time I saw you, you'd be like, oh, no. It's the same spot, baby. Stop. It was. You always hit the same fucking spot. Props for getting it on the ball all the time, but fuck, man, that hurt. Now we can't Every time he was punching you, he was punching me in his head. He was like, fuck. That guy. It's the excessive. Fuck that piece of shit. We get this little piece of shit. It's the excessive shit. nerve damage, man. You know, I was pantsed in PE. Does anybody remember that? I got pantsed. Oh, I wasn't it's there, but I heard. Down too, right? What? Huh? What? No. <laughs> you took your undies down. You could see lady parts. That was, that was the problem. I was on the that. You might have to say this a little louder. The mic listen. The good old what? Mike, speak up. Hello. <laughs> Will you speak up? Goodbye. She had <laughs> I was on my. She had the Aunt Flo. Yeah, Aunt Flo was in town. And I got pants in PE. That fucking sucks. Yeah. Can you not invite her? I mean, is it... Can is that <laughs> cool? Aunt Flo isn't cool. She can't play basketball. Can she stay? No, she can't. I mean, she's wearing Eric she can't Jordans. go one on one against Jordan, man. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. So uh, <laughs> you were picked on. So yeah. In high school. Well, no, because that guy was stupid. He disappeared for a while. Got deported. <laughs> No, I'm not, I'm not. I don't think he, he got actually a, no, got he deported. Got arrested. Oh no, he he was he was locked up for a while. Whoa, holy shit! Yeah, yeah. No, I, not shit. just for that, for like other things, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just not gonna get into that. He might have a gun. Oh um, uh, no, nah. that's not. No, nah, we're good. We, 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 we don't we don't live in a bad area. We just have bad eggs. <laughs> yeah, chickens too. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I was gonna talk about a while back that I didn't get around to saying was uh, I was in a car with a couple of friends and uh, they were listening to the radio and. Uh, one of our friends really likes to listen to just some of the cheesiest shit he can find. I think just because he thinks it's funny. Now, one of the songs he was listening to... No, 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 it wasn't him. It was, it was another <laughs> group of friends. And uh, one of the songs he was listening to was just some guy like whispering into a microphone. The whole song was like a backbeat. And some guy whispering into a microphone talking about how he's going to fuck some chick. Oh. But he's not saying baby or anything like that. He's going to fuck good, right, bro? Yeah, dude. It's like in the mic like... I'm just gonna fuck you. You're gonna go down. Like, on me. You're gonna like, do this. Like dirty talk. Yeah, dude. But into the mic. I was I was in the car sitting with these two guys in the front, and I'm like, so none of none of you guys is really gonna acknowledge that we're just we're listening to some dude tell us how he's gonna bang us, like he's telling us how he's gonna hold us down and have his way with us. Is that is that not registering with you guys? Is that sexy? Where the fuck would somebody do that? Did he find himself a cheerleader? A cheerleader. I like that song. Get out of here. So then, <laughs> a little bit. Then it got me thinking. Aww. Have you guys ever? Do you guys ever um, sit there and listen to the lyrics of things, and then just put yourself in the situation where if that person was talking to you, how awkward that conversation would be? Yeah. You ever just sit down and think about that? Yeah, the one they're like, it. "Fuck the police," and I'm like, "Yeah, dude, I I just went to like the police academy, so like, what the fuck, bro?" Yeah, like when <laughs> Katy Perry Which is, is singing about being a a, a paper bag. <laughs> but I think it's stupid because every time I hear it, I'm like, "What does she mean by no. that?" No, she watched American Beauty and she was like, "Right there, even though it's a plastic bag." Oh, but she was like, "It's stuffed like a paper bag." Oh, oh yeah, you know? mm. with a forty. Stuffing. Oh, with, with a, a couple. Of I mean, what the fuck he talking? Ninety nine red balloons. Oh my god, that, old English that man, old English. Shut up, Christian. I don't know what that is. It's a beer. <laughs> it's a beer. It's a forty. Forty. It's a forty. It's forty. It's a forty. MD forty forty. I love. In the 2020. Well, I was love Did it come with or, with or without their menthols? For most songs. Oh, my God. My mom told me this thing. It was called, I guess, uh, in the ghetto. They call it Shakes or some shit like that. The hell's Where that? you get the... It's called Jonesing everywhere Dog else. 2020. You get, like, a fucking uh, Kool-Aid pouch, <laughs> and you pour it in there, and then you shake it up, and then you drink it. Uh, that sounds delicious. Let's do this next time. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I'm down. Office hours. I'm, I'm functioning alcoholic. I can oh, do this. Let's, 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 let's get this going. I'll do it. Dude, look. I've, run, I've had situations where I'm <laughs> hanging out with people, and um, really? all of a sudden, they whip out all these like strange concoctions, just like the Mad Dog 2020 with Kool-Aid. I'm like, nah, I'm okay with that. I don't really want to drink this at the moment. What about food? 
Not necessarily with food. You know I'm more I... adventurous with food than anyone else. Sexually. No, you're not. You know, <laughs> no, you're not. Bullshit. I'm I way would... more adventurous with food than I, you no. are. Let me Sexually. see if, no. I, Sexually. if I can. I will. I like my, my, my whole thing yes. is I will always eat something even though I don't know what it is. If I go to like a new restaurant, I'm like, I'm going to try something that I haven't tried before. You should try what dogs do. You sniff it. You bite it and then you eat it. If it's no good, look at that. It, oh, and ooh. what is that? It's okay. a picture of this what is the tater f- tots. Yeah, oh my god, it's tater tots! Oh, tater tots, rice, ooh. beans, hey. um, ooh. nacho cheese, salsa. Oh my god! I'm sorry, I just got a boner. Uh, yeah, I was really oh, hungry. Was I was. Oh my! It was. See. Oh. Man, I have the it, see when it comes to did your, did your aunt Flo come it, and help you cook? No. When it comes to food porn like that, was, oh my god, it's this amazing. was when I was off, which is funny. Jesus I was really Christ. hungry. Yeah. Oh, and no, it was a uh, and there was sriracha chicken and bell peppers. Oh my god, that's Jesus. amazing. That sounds amazing. We had a lot of pizza. Okay, but I know we that, just ate like a it sounds great, food. but it also sounds like you went through your fridge, looked at all the leftovers, and poured it in a bowl, just like there's some M and M's in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to think what 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 would what would taste good. So like, at the moment, tell me when you're hungry. So you tell me when you're hungry, you just won't grab random things and just what? No, but see, it's the worst to do when you're hungry. Because in your mind, it's Red. like, you don't think of what would taste good together. You always think of what tastes good, period. Oh, dude, this tastes good. This tastes good. Well, but together, full. they taste like shit. I want then, to what's fulfill the, then what's the my, point, my Steve, of being adventurous? And you said you're adventurous if you're not going to be adventurous. I'm adventurous with, like, actual that. fucking plates, not, like, mixing shit. It's like those girls that read Fifty Shades of Grey and say, oh, I'm adventurous, but you put one pig in Never a butthole and it fucking... <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like, it's not. You're not adventurous. You're not adventurous. Oh, God. A pinky, bro. I'm fucking... Pinky. <laughs> Did you kiss your pinky? Yeah. Well, yeah. You gotta fucking dry in there. You <laughs> if you care about her, you gotta be like, okay. You have to kiss. You don't spit on it. Yeah. Strangers rude. get that. You so know, people never, you like go. Regardless of what it is, we never stop the bathroom talk. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> regardless of what okay. it is, we got a real problem on this podcast. The, the status shows that the. The booty stuff is funny. So. Well, the tag on there did say raunchy, so that's part of it. Right there. <laughs> Wait, you don't know the category Underwear tag? tag. Oh, it says raunchy. It says homosexual, and then I don't know what the other one was. Totally this is raunchy? It's a real thing? No, I was joking. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know any better. I'm a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big kid now. Aw. Oh. This is not, not, not in not here. <laughs> right. Well. Was it, uh, I, used to, I used to tell a coworker, he's like, dude, you've got a childlike mentality and genitals to match. Ah! He was like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I don't work with him anymore. But he would always look at me like, how do you come up with this shit? I'm like, dude, I just, I just talk. I don't know why it's weird. I have really asshole friends and I have to come up with pre-insults. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I think of insults and comebacks uh, definitely days and weeks in advance before hanging up. Just I get him at work and I say, so what do I say for this asshole? I'm saying for that asshole. Like, I know right away. Cardinal's like the Eminem of insults. He's like, dun, 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 still dun, there. Shut just, up. No, it's not. It's I'm sorry. You, you killed the fantasy. It's just the barcode, damn it. But, just um, killed my I just thought now. about that damn because it. my boyfriend bought me flowers one time and the price tag was so far <laughs> outside of it. I thought it was This is happening, you guys, from time to time. You're hanging around with, it's weird to say, but you're hanging around with, I guess, normal people. And uh, Define normal. Okay. fucking boring. Define normal. And then they um, <laughs> normal are the people that just that don't regularly talk about the little random things in life. Maybe they encounter them, but they might not ever acknowledge them. And that's what to me is normal because I feel like yeah. everything that happens to me happens to everyone. We just don't think about it in the same way. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like I think we all kind of have an idea of what normal is, and the fact that maybe a lot of us aren't there. Yeah. Because I definitely I stand out when it comes to. When it comes to my group of coworkers, I stand out because of the things I say. I know it's like Christian being like be weird me. and driving a car mm-hmm. while two of his friends get a hand job in the backseat. I heard the story about that. It was uh, like, don't do that, life. Christian. I mean, you're the homie, <laughs> but don't do that. I know Christian like renting your car out essentially to some kids so he can get ahead and I had to be the distraction. Get oh car. shit! Oh, yes, <laughs> that's right. God, Those are the good old days. Wow. Well, I haven't had that, but I got in trouble. See, at work. man, because that's why. I, I, that's why I'm always like, the homie, man. That's why I'm always the homie. Because in our in our in our cars have let it happen. We have positions, and you put down, you know, mechanic, Kyle Luke. I always put stupid stuff. Like, I put quarterback one time. <laughs> <laughs> and I put stuff, or I put, I don't know. Every once in a while, I put the tire Luke tech, but every once in a while, I do put, like, football positions. And I got called in and said, stop doing that. I was like, you got it, boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't so this fire last me. one has quarterback on it, so. Well, Liz, do you wear Uggs and sweatpants? No, no. I do that. All right, off that subject. I I do want to take it back to the uh, to the normal the normal thing. 
because I feel like you might run into those situations every once in a while. A lot. And then um, you're hanging out with, I guess, it's weird to think like normal people. Because to me, this is normal. Because these are the people, you guys are the people I hang out with. So it's like, oh, I say these things in front of my friends. But even you guys give me a look every once in a while. Well, it happens at, well, at work. Yeah, it's usually I say there. things and they're like, "What? How do you? Why do you I'm think like, of that?" You also yeah. have a weird, vivid imagination sometimes, man. You get pretty graphic. <laughs> <laughs> that not, is not true. Not always a bad thing. What, I'm just what very are you descriptive. Doing there? He made the sperm in the Simpsons. I have a really hard time trying to be weird at work, and it's really fucking hard. Like to be weird and be a smartass at the same time is pretty hard, man. I just don't speak sometimes. I'm just like, look. I don't. I you seem somewhere. like the quiet well, type at work. Uh, one job. The other one, I, I just don't get. Well, if I, had, one, I, I literally go and do, do what I have to do, I hate it there, and then go home. Sorry, uh, uh, it's up to you guys to guess who it is. <laughs> I know some of you guys watch this. Well, it's like at work when I talk about anime, and then I got a customer come. I was like, you watch, you watch Japanese anime? You watch? It's like, Japanese oh, you watch those kids stuff? I was like, it's not kids stuff. That's man. exactly what I mean. You still beat your kids? <laughs> Call back. Okay, no, no, good example. Okay, we went to a weird place, just in general. Went to uh, to a, a sex shop today, right? And when we went in there, we, we bought something. And we we're a like, guys. the lady's like, oh, what do you guys want Want to do with it? We're like, no, you goddamn business. Sex shop. <laughs> like, we went to a sex shop. This is exactly and, uh, what I said. And they were like, the closet. Um, <laughs> what are you guys going to do with it? Eat it. <laughs> like, well, like, what do you mean just eat it? We're just going to eat it. Like, that's, that's what we're going to do. We're hungry. What's the point of it saying edible? Like, okay. What's the point of it saying edible if you can't eat it? No, but then I kept bringing up other shit. It's like, oh, we're going to eat it. And then, um, oh, yeah, well, we can't have that in the office. That would be kind of weird. The office. Like, what do you guys do? Ah. <laughs> it's like, that's not weird to us because, like, that's a normal conversation. But yeah. to someone who works in a sex shop and I'm pretty sure sees weird shit, for us saying that, she's like, what? Yeah. I remember one time during Valentine's Day, and this this is just me being a smart ass when I talk. We went to, um, it was Valentine's Day, and we were all in high school. And a friend of mine, uh, I went with two friends, and one was, one was with me buying something for his girlfriend. So we were both buying something for our girlfriends, and one was just hanging out with us. He happened to be gay. So, <laughs> to be. Back in the day, he was gay. Now he's gay. Yeah, now he's, he's, now who, he's just gay. Who is this? Now he's still gay, but he used to, we'll too. We'll after. Now he's no. okay. Me. No, but, uh, <laughs> hey, I know you listen to this, and, and thank you for your support. He loves we this like sausage. what you make, too. We should, we should also collab. <laughs> so like I was saying, so all three of us, were, we went to uh, buy gifts for our girl. Two of us went to buy gifts for our girlfriends. So we're hanging on this. Uh, it was like a Michaels or something. And this Michael. lady comes up to us and uh, she's like, oh. oh, you guys you guys are buying gifts for your girlfriends? And I just look at her with a straight face and I'm like, nah, boyfriend actually. <laughs> and then I just keep walking. She, <laughs> the look on her face like, oh. <laughs> oh, But I, I had no, I had no problem with it. I was just like, hey, oh. fuck it. This is something that's going to get a reaction out of this lady. Okay, and I could give two shit. It's the 21st century, man. It's so like, my friend, the one that was actually gay, was like, I found it interesting how you could just say that like nothing. I was like, well, for starters. I'm very sure myself. For starters, I'm not actually gay. But also, I could give two shits what that lady thinks about me. Mm-hmm. You don't know her. You're never going to see her again. And that's it. And even if I did, I'd be like, yeah, he fucking loved it. Guess what he did to me afterwards? Guess. I'm not even going to tell you. Just guess. Because those words come I out can't mouth. sit down right. You guess. Oh. He gave you a I forgot to bring my donut. He gave you a Stanley <laughs> Steamer. The Stanley Steamer. It's a steamboat <laughs> willy, goddamn it! Get it right. That's when it comes in. They, they it's like really good, and it's all clean. They take the oh. extra kids that That's were left on the couch. Mm-hmm. I see it. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? What the no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, like you kind of, after a while, you kind of understand what the kind of answers people expect from you, and it just feels so good to say an answer that you know is going to get a rise or out of it. Also, that we have mm-hmm. very dark humor as mm-hmm. a group. That's oh, the reason why for us, we're, that's the norm to us while everyone else sees it as, oh, these guys are pretty weird. Because like, it's uh, They should fun. be shunned. As a group, as a group people's emotions, when, people, when outsiders hang out with us, they usually think we're mean to each other. Yeah. Like, that's just how we talk, and that's just how we joke. It's like... um Okay, we, I was at a, a Walmart with some people. And I was buying some stuff, and you know how they ask you, "Do you want to donate money to?" Blah, blah, blah. Oh, <laughs> oh, dude, that was and great. The, the lady was like, "Do you want to donate money?" And this is dark. Don't don't judge me on this. It yeah. was just it was humor. It was a joke. Mm. She was like, "Do you want to donate money to the Children's Hospital?" I'm like, "Oh no, it's okay. You're gonna die anyway." <laughs> and her look, like the look on her face was like, "I can't believe you said that." And she didn't talk to me for the rest of the transaction. She just went through, and I'm just like, "Okay, I'll tell it. Okay, you tell it. You tell it." So, oh my God. along those same lines, oh, no. I was uh, I was hanging out somewhere. We went somewhere, and right outside, <laughs> there were these people asking for donations. Oh, for the ocean. God. Oh, no, 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 this is another one. I, I guess you've done this several times. I went, too. And uh, so we're, we're hanging out in front of this place, and there's people asking, do you have five minutes to save a child's life? 
And I'm like, look, that's great. You're doing community service. You're doing charity. But the fact that the way you're asking the question is so manipulative that I just fucking hate that. It's like you've got an amazing cause. You should just be able to ask people something or ask for donations, tell them your cause, and that's great. But the way they were asking it pissed me off because it was so manipulative. So if whenever they asked me, I was just like, nah, I could give two shits. And I just keep walking. Because fuck you. True. I think if they approach people differently, like, hey, can you give me $5 so that I can give it to the hospital? Give, give, give. Because they're dying. Yeah. Give so me money. Well. Because that's a noble fucking Versus, cause. Versus, hey, yes. bro, let me see your phone. What are you doing with your phone? You know, I, like, I want to guilt trip the shit out of you. This iPhone right here? This, this yeah. part, what's your password? Well, if you get this phone, you'll help somebody in Africa. Do you well, stop why don't you tell me something different? Of babies? Like, no. <laughs> you, you see, man, this, this phone has marshmallow on it now, so no. They're probably still running the, you know, it's, the old freaking version. Well, see, in my mind, it's like they know the answer to the question. Yeah. They know most people are going to feel like, oh, man, yeah, I do have five minutes. I guess I should stop. But it bugs the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. They have to do it in that way. So I'm like, well, fuck you. That's, I'm going to say the way you. I want it. <laughs> most people have that weird approach all the time. Like, honestly, you see them do come up right. Have you seen Christian talk to a girl? Hey, um. <laughs> Uh, you have five minutes to, to figure out why Aww. I want to talk to you. you it's a lot of kids in Africa that don't have <laughs> my love and affection. Puberty. Oh my god! It's what most people say. Usually, the first impression <laughs> counts, but even with someone uh. trying to do something for their cause, it's still kind of a pain in the ass when they have to do it every single time as a routine. Have you guys ever had those people that walk around like usually older guys with candy or something? Like, hey man, you got five dollars, so you can buy this, and you go like, no, it's all on card. I had one. Give me shit. Mm-hmm. I hear that all the goddamn time. I was like, well, shit, man. It's I'm sorry. Future, Everybody man. carries. Well, then get an uh, iPhone. Get one of those swiper thingies. Yes. I can't afford that, That's going to be the death of homeless people. I have one, too, since you guys are all speaking of that same subject. Shut up. There was a lady that came into our work, and she was, she yeah, she's, she shows her a badge. It's like, oh, I'm a volunteer. I'm a volunteer. See? Older Asian lady, by the way. She's like, oh, I need, we need, <laughs> money, that we need, money, we need money because our, one of our, one of the families up there, we're sponsoring a family in the Philippines. I'm like, oh, cool. It's fine. Like, I'm sorry you came at a bad time. I really don't have any money. He's like, oh, you don't have any money? I'm, you can see I'm a volunteer. Uh, you're supposed to give me money. I was like, whoa, okay. First of all, I don't have to give you money. You're asking it, first of all. Second of all, you, you're approaching me, telling me I need to do this. I don't have to do this. But we had that similar situation outside of work. It was yeah. me and Andy. And it was those people that were walking around like, oh, yeah, do, uh, donate money to uh, the cancer, so- uh, cancer society. And uh, Andy's like, nah, uh, let me check your, your badge. And Andy checks his badge and shit. You know, Andy can kind of get yep. a bit aggressive. And uh, the guy's like talking shit. And then um, to Andy, and he's basically like, well, fuck you, kid. I make more money in a day than you do in a year, your uh, minimum wage job. And Andy's like, all right, cool. And then the guy starts walking away. And then uh, he's like, you know what? Fuck you guys. I don't need none of y'all money. Blah, blah. He's like talking shit. So this guy comes back. I guess he forgot about us. Like two months later. <laughs> and he's like. Ask us, oh, you guys want to donate money? And he's like, nah, nah, it's cool. I remember you. And that guy was like, oh, yeah, 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 I remember you. And he points at me. You're the guy that says that um, I, I, you make more money. I'm like, no, that wasn't me. That was him. Uh, yeah, fuck that guy, by the way. Um, mm-hmm. This dude basically came up to us, berated us because we were like, we don't carry cash on us. I don't carry cash on you. Nope. And Classic all the way. When it came down to it, it's like, dude, if you wouldn't have been such a dick, you probably would have got some money out of it. But because you're like, oh, I make such and such amount of money a day, blah, blah. I'm like. Well, if you make that much money out of the day, how much do you? Maybe you should donate <laughs> yeah, to the yeah. cause. I hate when people do that. They have to flash their status to tell you, like, "Hey, if you don't do it, I'm just gonna just throw all the shit out that I have." At he, you. Okay, look, this guy's talking shit, but he definitely was not making that money. This no, was exactly. the same outfit he wore when he approached us the yeah. first time. Uh, He's walking out outfit. in the parking lot asking for money, and he was that was his uniform, Cornell. That yeah. was his uniform. <laughs> well, Steven, his uniform. Was tacky. I've had, that, I've had that when a guy pulls in. He pulls in in an old Rolls Royce. Like he fixes it up himself, and he assumes that hey, I'm, I'm probably like the biggest shit here. You guys need to always help me out. So, so come on, dude. Man. Trust me, man. I know full well. I've worked security yeah. for so many years that I have run into those kind of people so many times, and I usually have the luxury of being able to walk away and have someone else deal yeah. with it because I'm like. Oh yeah, I gotta take care of this other thing. Uh, I'm just gonna fucking leave. Yeah. <laughs> so, but bad. a lot of times, yeah, if most... you if you get in this people's face and you really tell them the like, tell them in a way that hey, they're probably gonna understand. Like I, I had one time I had this guy in a uh, this bar I used to work at, and he's like, "Hey, I'm trying to get into the VIP area. I know that guy." So I go up to the guy. I was trying to help him. I go up to the guy that was in the VIP area. I'm like, "Do you know that guy out there?" 
Oh yeah, I know him, but he's a piece of shit right now. He's being kind of an asshole. Don't mm. let him in. <laughs> Solid. I go back outside. I tell the guy, nah, you can't come in. Well, did he say that? He's like, yeah, yeah, he did. Oh well, man, how much do you make, man? Oh, Are you oh, not gonna let me in? Shit. As soon as he started with that sentence, I was, I looked at him square in the eye. And I'm like. Look, I don't fucking care to have this conversation with you right now. Now, if you want to fucking stay in this venue and stay in this event, you're either just going to leave me alone or you're going to go outside. He just looks at me like, oh, no, but shit. I make yeah. more, the money. And that's but the thing, like, uh, I, I own you. I, he was dressed real nice, text? but I got in his face and it was like, what are you going to do, man? You want to leave? And he was just like, oh. You go, uh, man. He stayed really quiet. And then he fucked off. I'm not a mean dude. I regularly not. I bet you Even when I work security, head. I let people get away with a lot of shit. It fit in my head. Well, and it's not, even like, it's, it's not even it's like it's not even like shit probably. like I let him get into fights and everything yeah. it was like ah well if there's room to be lenient I was always lenient <laughs> if there was room but with him it was like no fuck this guy <laughs> um, how much do you make none of your fucking business more than enough to say no to you yeah so even <laughs> if I made less than you sir you can't come in <laughs> that's why you, that's why human society and decency has been dropping no it hasn't before we've just yes. been noticing it all right, I hate when people say that shit. Oh, right. Uh, I've always thought what, about what, that. What's the, what's the fucking line there when you use uh, faith in humanity restored? Like, man, fuck you guys. Yeah. Not, you guys don't even understand what that means. First of all, I second of all, it's like, oh, everybody in the world shooting people. It's like, well, it's been worth. Remember, remember the yeah. Holocaust? Hell yeah. Do, do you remember? Uh, uh, Good man. World War One. <laughs> Good man. Do you remember uh, slavery? Uh, uh, all that shit. Like we're good now. Like yep. faith in humanity has been restored for a while. We have but, more conflicts, but we have we're having really less wars, and they're getting nicer where they don't actively go towards people like pillaging and rape you guys remember that oh yeah yeah let me just <laughs> take, your and, uh, take your whole people right. well take we won the battle people. so <clears throat> so your property now it's a weird and we belong right. it's a weird together. saying it's a weird way of saying uh we've been through a bunch of trials and tribulations yeah. no but uh, yeah i've always thought about that thing where it's like oh my gosh society's in the shitter and it, i've always thought the same with cornell things oh, like yeah. Mm, I think it's on a steady <laughs> upward, like you know, m- movement. I know better. women can vote now. It's it, hey, <laughs> right? That's, thank you. It's the same, it's know, the same thing when people are saying that chivalry is dead. I was like, it's not dead. It's just the fact that no one really gives a shit anymore. Because well, you call like, those guys like, and like if, and if you play that card to a female, sometimes it's like, well, why don't you hold the door for me? Well, you want the same job I work at, so yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, it sounds like very chauvinistic to say that, but it's like if you want. Equal rights, you're gonna get equal rights, yeah. right? I just do oh. things to not but be just rude. Don't things. I know I do things. Yeah. Man, I've, 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 I've been my eyes rolled a, where it's like oh, I'm gonna subway woman. and like oh lady, and, uh, I'm like, what are you want? Bitch, I'm gonna slam the thing in you, but and Johnny comes in. Oh no, that's cool. Sorry, sorry. I've actually had that too, where they give me a look when I open the door for him. It's like, oh, why are you opening the door for me? I was like, okay. Close the cause door. Cause <laughs> oh wait, hold on, stay outside. And then Chris is just like, whatever, ISIS. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, you, you know what I not mean? The organization's like, girlfriend. Not the organization. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have to clarify. I have I'm to done. care. Yeah, yeah. Not the organization. Yeah. His girlfriend. Because my girlfriend's nice. name is Isis. Is, is it really? Yes, yeah. her name oh. is Isis. It's a horrible it, time. Don't, don't, I don't know why. Don't ever say I love Isis. She in, is. In no, no, no. I say she in public. It's funny. She said she had an issue with that at her job where someone came up to her like, why is your name that? Oh, that's like, sad. Uh, What's her ethnicity? She's a matters, really nice, really pretty extremist that really loves my friend. No, look, it's because Christian has a bad, bad track record. First, it was he dated a He's girl named Al Qaeda. <laughs> before that, it was a girl named Viet Cong. <laughs> And then before that, it was the KGB. Like, it was just really fucking weird. Christian has you a forgot, weird taste in girls. Radio station, forgot Kim no, Jong-un. Oh, uh, yeah, Kim Jong-un. Yeah, <laughs> the second love. All right. That was my miss. Christian, stop no, dating. that was your miss. Stop that dating girls with weird things. Stop things. dating overdoers. Uh, Christian, <laughs> that didn't turn me on. Don't do it again. Do it again. Don't ever do that again. Oh. Yeah, that's oh. creepy. <laughs> From 1 to 10, how bad yeah, was that? That's right, bitches. What? From 1 to 10, how bad was that? Um, I'm really eight, glad eight, I didn't have my eight, glasses eight, on. Eight, eight, eight. 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 So we're we talking Sahara Eleven. or like a no. like a waterfall, <laughs> like one or the other. Can I, can I, can I hey. plead the fifth? Desert. Can I plead the? Fifth? Can I plead the I'm fifth? getting nervous. You can plead the fifth. I'm right, getting a hot flash. Hey, don't it's go chasing. A, it's not a wet one. Hey, don't go chasing it's waterfalls. Not a wet right? It's not a wet hot flash. Don't at all. chase waterfalls. It's a fart. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fart. A wet hot flash. I'm no. like, ah! God, fuck it. Well, time to go down. Sahara. Down. down. What the fuck was that? What Don't was go that? chasing waterfalls, man. I Damn. like Damn. that. Damn. I remember that the song called Go Go Jason Waterfalls, by the way. Well, either way, shout out to right Daniel about for that one. Time, everyone. 
So last thoughts on any of the things we're talking about. I guess I guess that last bit of the conversation was about. just a bit controversial. Like and people have oh, yeah. different uh, different ideas and opinions mm-hmm. about what we were talking about. That's just what I think. Look, look, I mean, look, opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one. Yes. yes. Right? Just don't take it personally. No, no, no that's no. the thing. Like that's the thing I've always said to people. It's like I will if I think differently than you, I will always sit there and listen to your argument because at the end of the day, I've always thought that we should always listen to the other side of the argument. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like you can't just sit around going on the internet mm-hmm. and looking at your own view. You have to look at the other view. And in most cases, the other view is the most important view you can, you can really <laughs> look at. Are we into. in a church now, guys? Are we in a church? Oh, church? Jesus. <laughs> I'm not just saying it so you can like be an asshole and be like, oh, I'm well informed. I'm just saying so you know better. So you know what the other person's thinking and where they're coming from. Oh, testify, Stephen. <laughs> testify. Jesus. Stephen's testimonials. I'm just saying. <laughs> God damn it. All you right, get, so you, get, you go to church too much, don't you? No, church, don't. church. Okay. Uh, where can we find you at again, Liz? YouTube.com slash The Only Lurker with two R's. The well, three. Two R's and what's yeah. five? Tres. Tres. L-U-R-R-K-E-R. All right. We'll put that link down in the description. Well, I guess I will do that you, shit. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, if yeah. anyone wants to go ahead in the comment section, and I legitimately want to know if there's something that's supposedly age gated, like my chocolate milk thing, that's something they should have stopped doing at a certain <laughs> age, but still keep doing. <laughs> I'm talking about like eating certain candy or doing certain things like that, or Obviously, not keeping pie in your car, or not keeping <laughs> pie in your car. I'm not talking about like wetting the bed. Stop wetting the bed if that's something you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Charlie! You're 32 years old. You're living in the, the past. <laughs> but I am saying, if there's something that that you've gotten slack for it being age gated and looked down <laughs> upon because you're too old to be doing this, oh. let us know in the comment section because I legitimately want to know. <laughs> maybe it's not chocolate and milk. Maybe it's something else. So uh, that concludes our episode of the Logcast. I hope you guys had a good time. I know we did, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing more of Liz and hopefully her content that she yes. might or might not be releasing. Yes. Please <laughs> make, make more videos. More of a mic. Make yes. a more get a video. More <laughs> guinea pigs and maybe... <laughs> I, need some, I need some animals, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be torching small animals in your backyard. Good night. Later, y'all. Later. Bye.